Staying on, guys. It's the lucky pink hat. Welcome to episode 8 of Score 1, Still 1, where today we're going to be playing four matches. I'm going to try and whiz through four matches for you today. Uh, we're currently second in the table, two points behind Villarreal, but we've we've had a well, we had an excellent episode last episode, didn't we? Beating CSK Moscow 6-0 and Barcelona, Barcelona 2-0, thanks to the lucky pink hat. It's all down to that, I think. Uh, we'll see if the run continues today, I suppose. Against Malaga, Juventus, Levante and Murcia. It's the second leg of our Spanish Cup fourth round match. I was all confused in the first leg as to whether we were going through or not. In the, in the end, we have to play a second match after all. Let's see if we can concede as few goals as possible as well. Because two clean sheets in the last episode has left us in a strong position, especially defensively. I'm going to be able to put some new players in here. In fact, Godin is back from injury, so that's really good news. But we've also got Umtiti and we've got Vermeulen. I'm not going to play them today. I'm going to sort of leave them for a game. Remember, they will be protected on their first game for us. Uh, Higuain is unfortunately injured. So into the team will come Fernando Torres, who will swap around with Griezmann. But there, I mean, I, I feel like I have to keep the faith with the rest of the team because we have been... Well, we were fantastic, and I, I i don't know if it's as a result of this new tactic or not, but we'll find out today, won't we? Let's get on with the first match against Malaga, then. Here we go, then. Uh, we, we should be winning this game. They are fourth in the table, though, so they've had an impressive season so far. We have... Oh, Savic is tired. Maybe I shouldn't have played him. By... I mean, this this series, it, it's kind of... One flaw I have found with the score one still one thing, and I think you guys have noticed, is... When we lose players that have already played for a previous team, they're going to end up at a third team and they cannot play for them because that's like FIFA rules. You can't play for more than two teams in one season or something. So we've got a load of, sort of players that just cannot play for the rest of the season. So in a way, by beating Real Madrid 4-1 and then losing Ronaldo, we've kind of weakened uh, Real Madrid's position massively because firstly, they've lost Ronaldo, but then the team that he's gone to, Celta Vigo, can't even use him. So we're kind of weakening the opposition. So it should, in theory, as if we continue to win, continue to get a little bit easier for us towards the end of the season. But that's only in theory. We'll have to see what happens. Is this going to be the first real highlight of the game? Maggio plays it into Sal. Back to Prieto. Oh, he can't find Maggio though. And now Malaga have a bit of possession coming forwards. Holding onto the ball nicely, but we're really putting pressure on. Look at us getting in there, trying to hassle, but they're playing it really well and headed away. Is this going to be the first goal? No, we escape. Against Juventus, I can play him Titi and he will be protected. That was my thinking. No, don't play him today, so he's actually protected for the Juventus Champions League game. As a throw in is headed, it's headed away and oh, good clearance. Here's Fernando Torres. Over the top for Griezmann. Griezmann, he's through and he scores. He's stolen a player for us. 1-0. The hat is still working its magic today. It's done brilliantly. I'm going to say don't get complacent out there. I think I've just realised I've not actually done opposition team talks, in opposition instructions today. So let's get that sorted for the second half. And Prieto is not having a good game. 6.3. My, I think I, oh, I can't really. Oh, Sal can move there. And then into the middle, I can play Koke. Let's go with that. Long throw in for Malaga, then it's chucked in. And wow, harking back to Stoke City days, that. What a, what a throw that is. Not really seen long throws be effective on FM18. I think that's the first one I've seen. And they have stolen a player from us. At the moment, it is going to the randomizer. It's the first goal we've conceded in. Uh, well, we didn't concede a goal in the last episode. And yeah. We're up against it now, but we've won a corner, which Koke whips in. It's all the way back to Griezmann. This is nice play. Tony Cruz over the bar. Any player is up for grabs now, unless there's a player making his debut, of which there isn't. In fact, if we bring Zagoev on, then he's... Oh, he can play defence midfield. But yeah, Zagoev will be protected today. I didn't realise he could play defence midfield. Not particularly well, but we're going to chuck him in there anyway. Uh, right back. Maggio's not having a good game. I'm going to bring one Fran on. Corner to Malaga. Uh-oh, we're losing. We're losing 2-1. It's all gone wrong today. What's happened to the hat? I don't understand. Maybe I should have left opposition instructions off. But this isn't good enough from us. And I'm going to roam from positions. We need to get back into this. 
demand more. At present, we are losing our two best players on the day, and I think that's going to be Griezmann. We're finally going to lose Griezmann, I think. Unless we can grab another goal. This is a disaster. Zagoev clears. Oh, now three against two. Sal, you have to score this. Sal! Oh, tipped wide. And now it's a corner. Terrible corner, which Koke is now going to mop up for us. Can we create another opportunity here? Koke into Cruz. Three to Zagoev. This is a nice place. Sal's tackled, though. I don't know why this worked so well in the last episode, but today it's fallen apart. Going to go more direct, I think, to Torres and Griezmann. Come on, lads. Get back into this. I don't want to lose my baby Griezmann. I am right in thinking if we yeah, if we lose 2-1, we lose our two best rated players on the day. But here's Griezmann again. He has to save himself. He had the opportunity to save himself and he didn't. We've, we've been the better team in terms of chances created. They've had a lot more possession though. Another long throw causing problems for us. But can we counter against Saul? Up to Griezmann. Griezmann through to Fernando Torres. Club legend. Ugh, that's, you know... I'm scribbling him out of the club legend list there. Ten minutes to save Griezmann. I assume he's still one of our best rated players on the day. And, oh, blimey. I don't know how that didn't go in. Not good. Oh, overload doesn't work. Why have I put it on overload? Here they come. Great tackle by one friend. And now maybe we can sail over the top. We're just pumping it long. Griezmann, you have to score. In fact, if he misses more and more chances, then his rating might go down. But I kind of feel like because he scored the goal that we're going to lose him but I haven't checked we'll have to have a look in a second well, it's going to be really tough to win the league isn't it um, in fact he's protected at the moment because he's on a 7 whereas Torres and Cruz are on 7.1s but I don't want to lose Cruz either at present if the match was to end now we would lose Cruz and Torres 15 seconds I think we're losing this game It's we've had the opportunities to win it but, I mean, what the hell was that? That is the worst cross I've ever seen in my life from Griezmann. What even was that? <laughs> oh, they dominated possession. Oh, we're going to lose. We're going to steal their worst rated player on the day as well. Let's go back in then and see who we're losing. We're not losing Griezmann. We're not even losing Torres. We're losing Godin and Cruz. That is a semi disaster because those two players are really important for us. Fortunately, we have stolen a couple of central defenders recently, but that is annoying. It does mean, I mean, should I change their contracts or just, I don't know. I think it's probably okay for Malaga. What am I doing? Let's move him. I won't change Godin's contract because he can technically pet play for Malaga because that's only going to be a second team this season. But I will change Tony Cruz's contract, mainly because he's on an absolutely huge contract. Let's just take it down to five figures so 38 grand and the player we will steal is the worst rated player on the day who got a 6.5 the guy that was sub substituted off it's Rosales a Venezuelan international a right back that's that's handy we do have one Fran Maggi at the moment but he actually looks quite good so I'm reasonably pleased with that off goes the pink hat then you're not lucky anymore it's time for our Champions League match against Juventus then. It is, it's a pretty crucial match because we're only two points above CSK Moscow. All to play for. I'm sticking with the same tactic because although we lost against Malaga, I think on the whole, I mean, in the last episode it was brilliant. So I'm going to keep the faith with it. We are going to make some changes at the back though. Where's Umtiti gone? There's Umtiti. Umtiti's going to go on the left. Right then, I think I've decided the team. We're going with Oblak, Wanfran, Bernardo, Umtiti, Shemnikov, Gabi, Saul, Koke, Prieto, Griezmann and Higuain. So we have weakened the Juventus team by stealing Higuain off, the, off them, of course, but they do have Dybala still. Uh, it would be nice to steal him. Uh-oh, early chance for Juventus. Here's Mandzukic crossing it in and it's almost an own goal. Oblak somehow stops that. Throwing then, Shemnikov back to Koke. Here's Gabi putting it into the path of Prieto, who's knocked off the ball. And now a Juventus is going to count. Here's Mandzukic all up by himself, putting a good, well, not a good ball in the end, but they're still on it. Uh oh, this is dangerous. Mandzukic is through. What a tackle by Umtiti. That's Barcelona quality. And somehow it's not in the back of the net again. We're, they're all over it. I think we're going to have to go counter because, oh no, a penalty. Cancel changes. We're going attacking. Up steps Dybala. And he makes it 1-0. 
Oh, what a tackle there. One for now on the ball. Into Griezmann. Griezmann. Back kills it to Prieto. Prieto through. To oh, lovely. This is lovely play. Shemnikov. Griezmann. Oh, that deserved a goal. Buffon with a good save. Maybe I should have used a third wild card today to protect my players or one of my players not been a good first half from us and for i don't understand how it was so effective in the last episode it just seemed unstoppable and now suddenly i'm not i've not changed anything and it's all gone wrong we're only one nil down but higuain and griezmann it's not their day at all i'm going to move griezmann back and on for prieta i'm going to bring on aduras he's going to play we're going to we'll play two advanced fours i don't know if that will work but we'll give it a go. And I'm going to play Griezmann as a Traquatista. Let's just fiddle around with it a bit and see what happens. I'm, oh, I did change the count. I didn't mean to. We're currently losing our best rated player, which will be Oblak. That is a real black. Oh, Shem oh, Shemnikov and Oblak. It's between them two. Bernardo's picked up an injury. I'm going to bring on Vermeulen. I don't know what to do. Shemnikov's on a 7.2. It's tempting to just bring him off and hope that Oblak doesn't go above a 7.2. Let's do that. So it seems a bit negative. I should be going for the win. I can still go for the win. Or for a draw, at least. But here's Juventus knocking it up. Good head away by Umtiti. But they're back on the ball. Are they going to steal a second player from us? Here's Marquisio. Uh-oh. Oh, good clearance. And now, nope, we can't get on the end of it. But Griezmann does. Griezmann, three to Higuain. Come on, punish your old team. Aduriz. Aduriz goes wide, crosses it in. Higuain, he scores against his old club. It's 1-1. It's going to the randomizer now. But I'm I'm happy with a point. Well, a point is is all right. We need kind of a win to to stay ahead of CSK Moscow for certain. But this is lovely play. Duras just takes. He's like 39 years old, 36 I think. But he's old and he's he's beaten the Juventus defence. Put a great ball in and Higuain finishes. Uh, I think now now we will go counter. Although they're probably going to score straight away, aren't they? Here comes Quadrado. I've got Sergi at left back now. He's He's not going to pose much of a defence. And oh, how did he not score that? Now perhaps we can steal a win. Here's Griezmann. Griezmann is blocked away. What? We've got a penalty. Where did that come from? We've got a penalty. I'm not complaining. I'd be complaining if it was the other way around. But we've won a penalty, which Gabby steps up and scores. We're 2-1 up. I didn't see a foul. Apparently there must have been a foul when Griezmann put the ball into the box. But that's really weird. We're 2-1 up. Are Juventus going to get back into it though? Good ball in, headed away. Here's Marquisio now. Into Kadira. Regani into the box, headed away. Kadira. Oh, that would have been a goal and a half. Can we hang on? What what should I be doing? I should be turning be more expressive off. And that. Let's just try and hold on to the ball. Can we get an incredible win against Juventus? And still two of their players. We do! We're still in their two best rated players. We're losing our worst don't know who that is we'll see in a second our worst rated player on the day is Prieto and the two best rated players from Juventus it's not even the goal scorer Dybala that's annoying it's going to be between Quadrado Lichtensteiner and Buffon so two of those three players will come I need to go to the randomized to decide which two so Buffon's number one Lichtensteiner is number two Lichtensteiner sorry and uh, Quadrado is number three so, th so three players will be coming it's number three and number one. So Buffon is coming. We've got four goalkeepers now. And Quadrado, welcome to the club, both of you. So this is the team. Let's just have a turn my face off so you can have a look. It's so big. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Question is, he don't play in goal now. I mean, Buffon, I don't think he... I mean, is he better than... Apparently he is better than Oblak. I love Oblak. I think he's world class. But I suppose he's... The next, I mean, Buffon is amazing for his age. 30, I suppose he was goalkeeper of the year, wasn't he? So I think I have to play Buffon going forwards. Oh, no. <laughs> Dynamical problems. It's a disaster. Uh, Diego Costa's unhappy. Young Noblex's unhappy. Diego Costa, you still can't play for me until January. Why do you keep getting unhappy? He was unhappy at like, like a first team football. He can't play. I can't register him, even with the editor. Just realised I've still got these columns in from my experiment. Doesn't really matter for this ex this uh, save because, of course, it's all involved in the editor. Just out of curiosity, I want to see who's got the highest current ability. It's Higuain, then it's Griezmann, Buffon, Oblak. I mean, Oblak's only five current ability behind. Got some quality players in this team. We really should be challenging but the rules really do make it a little bit difficult, don't they? With three points behind top of the table, Villarreal. Next up. 
we've got Levante. It's time for the third match of the episode. Then we're taking on Levante at home. We should be winning this comfortably, but I'm putting out a strong team anyway. Now, Rosales at right back is the only player that is protected. That is start. Oh, Buffon as well. Sorry, Buffon and Rosales are protected. Coming off the bench, possibly Quadrado. He would be protected. He doesn't fit into our system, does he? We're not playing wingers anymore. I guess he could do a job at right back, but there's no point playing him there. Um, maybe we'll play a tactic with wingers again at some point if we start to win a, f win a few more wingers. Let's get on with this then. First highlight of the game that's been boring so far. Literally nothing. Uh, not many. Sh we've had one shot. They've had two. They've actually had more possession. I don't think this tactic is about possession for us, is it? And here they come, keeping hold of the ball, looking dangerous. We're holding them at bay at the moment, but are they going to break through? I think they are. Here they come. Looking to steal a player from us, and they do. They're one 0 up. This is this is embarrassing. Maybe this tactic's not going to work against this team. Perhaps we need wingers. Here's Griezmann. Can we get an equalised before half time? It's back. Oh, what a goal from Saul! We are back in it, and at present it's going to the randomizer. Griezmann did well to just make something from this. He played it back to the edge of the air, and oh, what a strike! Although, are they going to get a goal straight away? Oh, wait, they do. Buffon's letting two goals on his debut. Can't really do much about that, can he? But we're two one down. Where is the passion, lads? I think maybe we're going to have to change this up a bit and go with some wingers. Let's have a look. Okay, I've changed things up a bit. We're going to play it a bit wider and just try and create some problems. Griezmann can play as an inside forward, actually. And Quadrado on the right-hand side. On his debut, so he's protected as well. Here we go, then. Is this an opportunity? Sal, back to Rosales. Into Koke. This is nice play. It's behind for a corner. I'm going to play it short. Here's Quadrado all the way back to the... Oh, oh, Gabby with the strike. That would have been impressive. At present, we're losing our two best rated players on the day and Saul will be going to Levante. That would be a disaster. And now they're looking for a third. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, what a save by Buffon. There we go. There's the quality shining through. We've just been ripped open at the back at times today. I'm not really sure why. Can we get back into this? Here's Saul. Into Koke, it's knocked back to Gabby. Lovely strike. He's been a good player for us actually since coming into the team. He's been, he was at the team already, but when we lost party, Gabby took his place and he scored a few goals from penalties. And that is a brilliant strike from outside the box. Two great goals from us today. Going to make a couple more changes. Gonzalo Higuain. It's not been his day at all. Fernando Torres is going to come on for him. For Koke, I'm going to bring on Zagoev. Can we grab a winner? Because at the moment it's going to the randomizer. We could lose any one of our players apart from the protected ones, of course. And that's not good. Here's Quadrado. Great ball in, headed away. Really good whipping cross from Quadrado. It's been an end to end game. And we're putting pressure on them here. They're not able to get out of their own penalty box, barely. But they have managed to find it. Oh, no, Gabby. Zagoev to Griezmann. Back to Zagoev. Here's Fernando Torres, who hits the crossbar. And I think that's offside from Sal. Surely. Surely? No? It wasn't offside. I thought it was offside. We're 3-2 up. I could have sworn that would have been it. It just looked like a stereotypical offside goal on Football Manager, where a player hits it. I know he was level with the defenders when Torres hit it. And with three, to that is a crucial goal. Let's just go counter for the last few minutes. Well, can we grab a fourth and choose the player that we steal? Here's Rosales. Into Zagoev. Gabi. Zagoev. Griezmann. Griezmann. Off the post. Torres surely to make it four. It does mean we get to steal one player of our choice from Levante. The other three will be down to the normal rules. We will lose our two worst rated players on the day. I don't know who that is. Hopefully not Griezmann. To go have found Griezmann, who good save by the keeper, but Torres just knocked in and uh, we're 4 2 up. Chemnikov and Savic, I think, at the moment, although Adura has got for 6.5, so he's and Higuain. We're losing Higuain to Levante. Oh no, why did I take him off? Uh, it's not the end of the world. It was a good comeback from us. When I went to wingers, it certainly was more effective in that second half. So that's good to know when we're struggling against a team that perhaps is playing quite wide, we can change it up a bit and make a difference. So we're still third in the table with Malaga and Villarreal, but uh, we've stolen some players today. So I'm going to be able to pick a player and then the other two players, three players will be the best rated players. So losing, let's get rid of the players we've lost first. 
So it is going to be Higuain and Adderes, who will both be stuck at Levante now. And I think we'd better change the wages because Levante aren't exactly a rich team, are they? we will put them... I'll put Adiris on 10 grand a week and Higuain on 20 grand a week. It will upset them because they'll be on low money at these teams, but it doesn't really matter. This is all a bit of fun, remember. There we go. Higuain, put up with your 20 grand a week. You're still a rich man. Coming to our team then. I mean, I don't really know anything about Levante. I'm kind of tempted to just steal Jason because he's called Jason. We could do with another left back. Let's see how good Luna is. He's all right. Let's, let's steal him and then the next three best rated players will come to my team. He was actually the worst rate to play on the day, funnily enough. So, Postigo, Bardi, and Morales, I think, are coming to Atletico Madrid. Here they come. Jose Morales. And lastly, Bardi. Now, I did say I was going to let myself sell players because we've got so many players in the team. So, I think it's fair enough to sell players. I can't do anything with the money. It doesn't really mean anything, although I could put it towards the... The, the wage budget, I suppose. Moy is now basically fourth choice goalkeeper. It feels a bit mean to keep him. We could go on and lose Buffon, Oblak and Akinfaev in a matter of days, but I think it's a risk worth taking. I'm going to let him go because it's he's already caused dynamic problems when Buffon arrived because he's unhappy about basically being fourth choice now. If we just look at the dynamics a second, this is the hierarchy. It's absolutely massive. And the social groups, look at all those others. I have to scroll down to see all the others. They might fight. They might eventually start to integrate. I mean, we've got players like Akinfeev, uh, Zagoev, and, and there's like a Russian group here. <laughs> we've got a big Russian core to our team because we still so many CSK players, CSK Moscow players. It's really quite interesting what's happened. We should be winning this game easily against Messi. It's the second leg. We drew two-two in the first leg. A few players making their debut. Akinfeev in goal. We've got Luna at left back and Bardi. Rest of the team has already played gone for a weaker team as because we're taking on mercy i don't really want to lose the big boys i could i suppose actually agrees there's no point risking him on the bench i'm gonna put let's put chalov our 19 year old russian on the bench and saul we'll get rid of him as well i just there's no point risking these players in case it goes to the randomizer uh, and in fact i'm not going to put oblak on the bench i'm going to put moya on the bench good thing about the cup is you don't have to register any players which is it's a bit of a pain having to always register different players let's get on with this then Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Uh, it'd be much appreciated if you do press that thumbs up button, as always. Oh, it's a free kick to Mercia. And Akinfeyev easily catches that. Yeah, I, I mean, I like to remind you to hit the like button. I'm not uh, forcing you to do that at all. I just, I feel like you need to be reminded sometimes with these things. You might get to the end of the video, not press like. And ratings do really help. Uh, I think videos appear in search feeds and that sort of thing can we get an early goal then here's gabriel into xhaka bardi this is lovely play we've won a penalty i have no idea who's the penalty taker from this lot i think it's fernando torres in fact here we go i could change the player but i'm going to let torres take it i have confidence in him to stick this away up he steps <sighs> great <laughs> well done fernando it was a good save by the keeper to be fair but it's still nil-nil, and that's not great from us. Although, nope, Gabriel can't find the back of the net. Half an hour in, and we've just cleared that. Bernardo up the pitch to Torres, who heads it onto Rodrigo, running through. Rodrigo, you have to stick this away. You do. 1-0. Great counter-attack. That's his first goal for the club. He actually scored a one-on-one. -on -one. I've said one-on-ones are broken on FM18, but he did actually stick that away. So credit to him. Here's Luna, into Bernat. Rodrigo, oh, it always creeped in at the near post. And we're still on the attack here. Luna crossing it into Bernat. Again, weak effort. Here we go again, though. Here's Fernando Torres trying to make it 2-0. Bardi, lovely ball through to Rodrigo. He tucks it away. Lovely goal. Lovely stuff from us. That's his second goal of the game. Look at this. Headed by Xhaka into Bernat. Great ball from Gabriel up to Fernando Torres. But this was the best ball of the lot. Bardi, just that little poked through ball enough pace on it to beat the defense but not too much so rodrigo had to to sort of change his position it was lovely uh, but is this a chance oh over the bar or a little bit weak from the near post at defending corners i've noticed maybe i need to focus on that a bit can we make it three before the end of the half here goes fernando torres beating his man crossing it in <laughs> almost lobbing the keeper free kick two oh this is an opportunity is this going oh no it's good clearance 
And now we can counter. Look at this. Dangerous. Rodrigo's through looking for his hat trick. Rodrigo blasts it well wide and over. I think I'll take him off, actually. And I'm going to throw on Chalov, our Russian 19 year old. Bardi is knackered. Milanov's going to come on for him. And Maggio's dead as well. So Pastigo can sort of play right back. So I don't even know who he is. I can't remember stealing him. But anyway, we should be over the line by now with 20 minutes to go. I feel bad stealing players from Mercia. So. I'm actually not going to steal any players. I'm going to forfeit that. Because we don't need players from Mercia. And I don't want to unnecessarily weaken them. I know the rules is I should steal players. As we make it 3-0 through Chalov. Really unselfish play from Torres there. Lovely, lovely assist. And uh, Chalov gets a goal on his debut. But yeah, I don't... There's no point stealing players from Mercia. It's cruel in my opinion. We stole two already. They stole two of ours of course. But it really is unnecessary to get rid of these, to, to weaken Mercia. So, exception to the rules today, first game of the the series that I have done this. We've won 3-0, but I'm not going to steal any players from Mercia. I'm kind, I'm kind like that. Like if we'd, if we'd won 3-1, then I might have thought about it because they'd have stolen one of our players and they, they could have benefited from that. But I think that's fair. We've won 5-2 on aggregate. So we go into the next episode having... Lost one game today, but we've won the last three since I got rid of the hat. It was lucky in the last episode, but not today. Next episode, we've got Raul Betis, Basel and Las Palmas. Uh, I might play four games again. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe even five. Maybe do an epic episode nine. Uh, we are third in the table, three points behind Villarreal. And in the Champions League, we go into our last game. Where are we? We're second in the table. We've already qualified. So the Basel game, it doesn't really matter. We just have to try and make sure we don't lose any players against them, I suppose. So we're not weakened for the knockout stages. We could finish top of the group, though, if results go our way. Thank you for watching today's episode. Until next time, enjoy FM 18. Enjoy life. I'll see you very soon. Yeah.